When a president of a country says this, the cost of fuel has gone up. Food and other prices have followed it. Households and businesses struggling. Things seem anxious and uncertain. I understand the hardship you face. I wish there were other ways, but there is not. Are you shocked? Don't worry, you will see another one that will shock you. More will come. He wants to put his name in a record book in the world. That alone can put him there. Hello, my lovely people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jane. This is the first time that you are seeing me. Thank you so much for stopping by. My return subscribers, you are the best. Thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I, I, I can't thank you enough for, for, for what you are doing for me. Thank you. For the negative ones, thank you. For the positive ones, double, 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 double kudos and thank you. I appreciate you. Because we learn from both the negative and the positive. So, <clears throat> for those that are telling me that, Jane, you're doing a good job, thank you. For those that are telling me that, cry all you want, you can cry all you want. The Igbos will go back to where you come from, thank you too. Because you're ignorant, that's why you say, you speak things like that. Thank you. <clears throat> so, did you guys see that yesterday I made a ball at the table? It's really good to have the capacity. It's really good to um, to understand how uh, the law works. It's really good to to know what to do without people telling you. It's really, really good. It's really, really good. It's not just grab it, run with it. A, a snatch it, grab it, run with it. That's it can it can take you nowhere. If you don't know what you are grabbing and snatching and running away with it, you can just grab it. It will be a waste. Did you see that a bag of rice is eight? Even it got to ninety thousand. Did you see that gari 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 that we 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 put in our thing we get from our farm? People cannot even afford to buy gari anymore. Did you see that beans? Ah, who's talking about? Who's even eating beans? Because beans is uh, like a um, politician's food. Let me just say, because it's for the rich. Uh, the poor cannot afford beans anymore. Did you see even common plantain that is all over the place? People cannot afford to buy plantain. Did you see? Did you guys see how people, the minimum wage is only 30000 and I made a ball at Tinubu. Woke up from nowhere. Hey, God. Woke up from nowhere. And change the national anthem. Hey, God. So, it's the national anthem that is uh, preventing a rise from going down. It's the national anthem preventing the, the minimum wage from going up. It's the national anthem that arise who compatriots. That's what is causing the problem in Nigeria. It's the national anthem why the terrorists are deleting Nigerians. And he woke up to change the national. The world is watching. And people are laughing at us. People now know that we don't have anything upstairs. People now know that we don't have leaders. People now know that for real, for real, all they are there is to grab, snatch, and run with it. Because how do you wake up? First of all, the <clears throat> national anthem that they picked, the old one that they used to have, they said uh, uh, Britain or British uh, wrote it for them. They change it to the one that a, a Nigerian composed and wrote. Now, because I don't, I really don't know. This is just so sad and, and heartbreaking that Ahmed Bolatinobu woke up from nowhere and said, what is going to make things 
better in Nigeria is to change the national anthem back to what it used to be. He changed it. So tell me this is leadership. Tell me that you don't need somebody that have the capacity, that have the mind for the people, that have the the audacity to 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 what they have the audacity is to steal steal your money what they have the audacity is to delete you these people are not doing anything to make sure that uh, Boko Haram will, will stop deleting people hate men will stop deleting people no they don't have that mind they don't have the mind of instead what they have in mind is promising to give a Mayeti Allah, uh, is it 100 million or 200 million or whatever how much to uh, stop them from deleting for two years then after two years what I'm trying to understand where these people are coming from Mayeti Allah is one of the worst terrorists I think they said they have put them in the index of number three in the whole world with the headsmen and all that. And yesterday, oh God, oh God. Oh God. I, I can't, I, I just, I, I can't. It's, it's a sad, it, it's, it's very, very sad. But I saw that the anthem is changed. So I said, let him come and tell you guys, those of you that will come and, and yab me that what is my own problem of whatever the government want to do. Some of you that will come and yab me, I beg, help me uh, ask this government, is the rights coming down now that was changed? Is why people are being deleted? It's why terrorists are all over the country? So now that it has changed, now maybe now terrorists can stop. This is so sad. And if what is happening <clears throat> in Nigeria is not making you angry. If what is happening there is not triggering you to, to wake up and know what to do, eh? and stand up and demand for your... You start from your local government. You start from your local government, but because you are scared of these people. That's why these people can just sit down on you and do whatever they want to do. You refuse to move. You refuse to stand. You refuse to speak. You re Nothing. Nothing, and they know all of you because during election time, one of the one of them that were running said, "We know what you guys want." A APC person said, "We know what you guys want. All all you guys want is money. We just come, we give you guys money, and you will vote for us." You guys had it. You guys saw it. That's all you guys want, and we will make sure that you guys have it, and you guys will vote for us. Yes, you guys clap for them. You clap for them for saying that all you guys need is money. Sad. I saw that. I thought I come and let you please put your opinion, <clears throat> put your opinion in a, in this video. What you think about this uh, change of constitution, change of a uh, national anthem? What has anthem got to do with what is happening in Nigeria? Tell me, tell me what the that anthem change will do. Tell me the change it will bring in Nigeria other than confuse you, direct your mind to anthem instead of directing your mind to hunger. Did you guys see the the lady, one of the Labour Party lady from the East that, that said, what are we celebrating? What are we celebrating? We cannot celebrate when our people are dying and they shut her down. He said, what, is, what kind of democracy are we celebrating when people are being deleted, people are hungry? Mm, and the, the men came after her. And guess what? The men that will come after her is the one that the government married married a uh, 100 children. Hey, God, God. Hey. Married 100 children and gave, and gave them free of charge. The government married them underage children and gave them to them and said that it's a way. Hey, God. <laughs> All these old people in Nigeria that said that they are in the Senate. When the woman cried out, when they are attacking her in the Senate, the woman said, I need protection, I need protection. The, the so-called uh, Senate uh, president said, yeah, you have protection. They, they, um, 
democracy is the protection why you are here it's like they think that they are the only ones that need to be there the old ones the ones that the government is marrying children to give them when their own children is in abroad and they are marrying children to give them they go they get their boko haram to come and delete the the husbands and brothers of these little girls and then they gather them together and marry them and handed them over to the men and they and they take and continue to produce the poor people because they refuse to send them to school when you refuse to send children to school what do you expect they will continue to be poor follow their their parents footstep beg beg in the northern northern nigeria should should just erupt and go after all their leaders northern nigeria should go after all their leaders for what they are doing to them because they are not being fair to them they are not taking care of their people so northern people but i give them kudos now they have started waking up they have started understanding what is happening so if other people even serve is like northern people what is happening in nigeria now will not be happening because in Kano State, they will not, they will dare not if the people erupt, they run. In Zaria, in a Kaduna State, people speak over there, even though nobody is listening to them. But at least they are speaking. So, my people, please, can somebody go and ask Ahmed, uh, the INEX elect president, say, what is the need of for changing the anthem? When people are calling for the constitution to change, so that the referendum will be done so that people can know what to do and govern the country well but because Ahmed Bolatinubu has to go to that one that they that the west prepared for them prepared and and wrote it for them and the senate of nigeria will sit down and say amen let us let us stamp it that's what Ahmed Bolatinubu wants and that's what Ahmed Bolatinubu will get so i saw that i thought i bring it out here put it in the comment section what this uh, change of <clears throat> anthem will do for you whatever it will do for you if you make you get a job put it there if it will make you have a better hospital put it there whatever it will do for you put it so this is to tell you that these people don't give a damn about you they don't care about you they do not care. These people, are, are, I am even thinking that they are not Nigerians. These people that said that they are leading Nigeria, they are not Nigerians. They cannot be a Nigerian when they don't want Nigeria to prosper. They don't want Nigeria to, to, to be up there when they have everything that can make Nigeria great. These people have all their wealth outside the country. They steal Nigerian wealth. They take it outside the country and go give it to the people that inserted them there and go develop help them develop their people and they are laughing at us from behind they're saying yeah yeah this is the kind that we want whatever we we say they will do why won't he change the anthem when he forfeited four hundred and sixty thousand dollars and he's our president and america is is covering him up why would he change whatever he want to change? When he did all man out, he did drugs, did everything. America refused to give it to us. So why wouldn't they tell him, change the anthem to what it used to be before? We got your back. Nothing, not, no shaky. Why would he change it? If it was you that they are holding, holding in your balls and said, whatever you, we said you must do, because we are holding your drug dealing, we are holding your your. Uh, everything everything that you did we have it right here in the palm of our hands if you were you that they are holding all these things in, on you you will do everything that they want you to do you will you will, you will live in <coughs> god god please don't let them tell tell ahmed bolatinobu to delete all nigerians because if they tell him that he will do it even though indirectly that's what is happening but at least let it not come out of their mouth to say we want all nigerians gone because he will do it just to protect himself years ago years ago when he was in exile he said that he don't believe in one nigeria the same person that said that he does not believe in one nigeria 
turnout to come and be the president of Nigeria. If you don't believe that he said it, look at this newspaper. That's where he said he does not believe in one Nigeria. And that's why all his money is outside the country. Somebody that during election time, they, they caught him with a bullion bank money. And what did he do? He will get all those people that help him rig election, all those big, gather every one of them. Some of them, he put them in jail so that they will not, they will not talk, shut them up so they will not talk. So, please ask Ahmed Bolatinobu, changing all these things. We already know you are a drug dealer. We already know that you are, um, you are a certificate forger. You are already know that uh, we don't know your name. Yeah, are you a woman or are you a man? Are you a Dekunle or whatever? You are illegitimate president. No matter what you do, you will never be my president. You will never be my president. So we already know all that. So what is all this garagara? What is all this garagara? So people line up here to come and attack me for saying what I'm saying. I speak my mind in whatever I want to speak. Whatever I deem fit that I feel like talking about. I speak it out so that Nigeria will not drive me crazy. Because I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind with what is happening in Nigeria. They're making me lose my mind. And, and to be honest with you, I, I don't know. Because I want a better Nigeria. I want our place to be to be good. I want our place to be comfortable. Like where I am, I am going to work. Nobody's harassing me. Nobody's asking me why I'm driving, why I'm talking. Nobody. Nobody. I just mind my business. I come to traffic stop. Where they say stop, I stop. When they say go, I go. That's what I do. That's how a country that may, people that meant well for their people put rules and regulations and make sure that the people will follow them. But all they are there for is to grab, grab and run with it. Snatch, grab and run with it. And the same way they are grabbing, it's the same way all people will grab those things that they grab from Nigeria. I made the Bolatinobu don't believe in one Nigeria. And he's the president of Nigeria. So, what is it that we have not seen? That all the people, including the Senate president, that all Nigeria, his state, over 200 million, is the Senate president. All the senators... Or Abia senators that that um, the former governors of Abia, they are in the Senate. When they stole their people blind, Ikbazu stole Abia state blind. He's in the Senate. He he stole them so bad, but they are all there in the Senate watching Amedu Bolatinubu, supporting Amedu Bolatinubu. Let us change the anthem. So we can confuse them. So we can tell them, uh, we can confuse them to continue to learn how to speak. <laughs> Let us give them the new constitution to learn how to, 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 to sing the new, the new anthem. Why we continue to do what we are doing. We don't need to learn how to sing it. We the senators, the House of Reps and the uh, uh, president, we don't need to learn how to sing it. We can just uh, lip sync. Just We can just do that. But let them continue to learn it while we continue to do what we are doing. By the time they finish learning that one, we will find another one for them to... <laughs> God go punish them, man. God go punish them. So, my dear, sorry that I made this video along it is it's, it's so annoying so annoying and uh, to be honest it's so annoying so i thought i'd come and let you guys know what is going on so put your opinion i thank you so much for watching if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel <clears throat> put your notification bell so when we put a video you will get it i love you guys so much from me to you thank you so much for watching bye bye